Hello everyone, today I will be sharing you how to use Google Meet in teaching your students online. First is that you need to have a Google account just like this one. And then on this bar here, type in google.com.ph so you could able to view this one. Then here, you can see nine dots. So click on this and click Meet. Then you can see this one. Now click on new meeting. Then you have three categories here. Create a new meeting for later. Now if you want to share already the link to your students, you can generate the link and copy this and send it to the GCs of your students. If you want to have an instant meeting, so click on the second one, start an instant meeting. So I'll be discussing more on this second category later. Then this one, schedule in Google Calendar, in which I will no longer be discussing this. By the way, this enter a code or link here is, this is for instances like you are the ones invited and you are the ones given the link. So you're gonna paste the link here so you could able to join the meeting of your, let's say your professor or your principal. Okay. Okay, so let's now get inside a new meeting. Okay, start an instant meeting. Okay, so as you can see, I have there already my video. Let's be learning the icons right here. Then as you get inside the room, you will see this. You can just copy the link and then send it to the GCs of your student. And if you don't need this anymore, you can just close it. Okay, so let's try to learn the icons right here. Of course, this one is the microphone. You can turn it on and turn it off. So as you can see, it, it turns red if it's off. Then this one, video camera. So you can just close it. Okay. And then you can only see my icon right here. And then here, the emoji. So uh, if you want to send heart to your students, thumbs up, and all the icons right here. Okay. And then here we have the CC. What is this all about? So as you click on CC, as you can notice here, everything that I say is being visible here as like a subtitle. So that's the use of the CC. That's so amazing. Okay. You can just turn it off. All right. Then, of course, we have present now. This is when you want to share the slides to your students already. So click on this and then you have here three tabs so we have chrome tab so if you want to share an online window and then here if you wish to share one window only so you just select on the windows which you have open so just make sure that it's already open so you can share it right away then this one is the entire screen so whatever you open whether it's your facebook your youtube or whatever you want to let them see since the entire screen is being shared so everything is visible to your participants okay so let's try to use the window so this one i'm about to share my slide so i click on share then this one is already visible to the participants whether they are using Android or laptop. So as soon as you're done, you can stop sharing. And remember that if you are just sharing a window and then you try to slideshow, then they cannot anymore see the slideshow because you have only shared the window, not the entire screen. Okay, let's stop sharing. Okay, so to continue, we have here raise hand. So if you want to seek the attention of the presenter or the teacher, you can raise it. And then if you're done already talking, then you can re-click this. Okay, and then here we have the three dots. It means more options. So on the whiteboard, I'm not usually using this one. Let's go to change layout. So as you click change layout, you have here the arrangement of the of the participants. So if it's auto, it's only Google will will just arrange according to his choice on the arrangement of the participants. Then next is the tile. So you can see more of the participants right here. Also for documentation purposes who are really 
the participant of that session. So that is tile, then spotlight. So spotlight if you want to have a full screen, then sidebar if you want to have the presentation of your slide at the center and then on the right side are the windows of the participants so this is on change layout okay and then more of the options here is the full screen so you can make it full screen and then you can just exit full screen and then here we have open picture, picture in picture. So if you want to have separate window and then you have all the participants right here. Okay, then you can just close this one so you can go back. Okay, then we also have apply visual effects. So if you want to change your background. Yeah, if you want to hide something on your background, change it. Okay, just like this one. Okay, so if I'm going to click this, so that will then be applied. Let's try to see. So as you can see here, my background has been changed. So that is on the apply visual effect. So it's up to you to explore it. Turn off captions, so that is on the CC. So I guess that's the most important there. Then on the setting... Yeah, so you have there the setting of the audio, the video, the general. So it's up to you to explore on that. So here uh, we have the end uh, if you want to leave the call or if you want to leave the session. Then here you can review the code by clicking on this something like an I. Then you can copy and let the others join. All right. Then here you can see how many are the participants. And then, by the way, you can also see here if someone is about to get inside the session. So, there's a pop-up sound and then click admit so you can let your students get inside. Okay. Then, here you have the message. You can message your hi. Then, all the participants can also reply. You can also send your links. Then right here is seldomly used. You can have the live streaming and the recording. But this is for premium only. Because for free version of Google Meet, you are not allowed to do record. And take note that in free version, you can only stay in the classroom for 60 minutes or good for one hour only. Right after the one hour duration, the room will disappear. And then you can only accommodate up to 100 participants only. And then what else are the features here? So you can see here lock and control. As the host, you have the full control. So you can let them share their screen send messages, send reactions, turn on their microphone. But if you are going to refrain them from doing so, you need only to turn this on. Then they're no longer allowed to share screen, send messages, turn on the microphone and video. Okay? Then this one here, host must join before anyone else. So if you click on trusted, you are going to admit those who will join. But if you're going to click open, the participants will no longer be asking you to admit them. They are free to get inside the classroom. Again, if you see this yellow here, they are free to get inside the classroom. But if it's trusted, then you have the free choice if you will let them get inside or not. Okay, so I guess that's all for our video today. I hope you have learned something.